The cause and effect matrix is a tool utilized to prioritize the potential strength of the relationship between input and process indicators, X's, and the output indicators, Y's. This is a subjective analysis tool that gives structure to team decision making and is used to decide what X data to collect. To begin, list the key output indicators, Y's, across the top horizontally. These should be a relatively small number, say five or fewer. Assign a priority number for each Y from one to 10, with 10 being the most important. These numbers indicate the relative importance to each other and should not be the same. Vertically, in the first column, list all potential input or process indicators, X factors, that may affect any of the Ys. These are the brainstormed Xs from the fishbone diagrams. If there is a duplicate X factor, just list it once. Next, rate the effect or correlation of each input to output. For example, 0 equals no correlation. 1 equals little correlation. 3 equals moderate correlation and 9 equals strong correlation. Cross-multiply each rating by the importance and sum across, putting the result in the last column. Harrison Street University templates and QI macros or Sigma XL templates for the cause and effect matrix will have this formula pre-populated. Finally, sort the results from high to low, prioritizing the X data to collect. Look for a natural break in the numbers of the scores to determine which Xs to collect data on. Typically, this will be 10 to 15 Xs. To facilitate the cause and effect matrix tool in your team meeting, plan on setting aside 60 to 90 minutes for this task. It is best to have the team agree on a score for each correlation and not take averages. Refer back to your ground rules on the best way to make decisions. For instance, the team may decide that majority rules, or use the team lead as a tiebreaker, or defer to the person in the room with the most knowledge on the topic to make the final call. You can send out these spreadsheets to the team prior to the meeting so that they can fill out their scores and then bring them to the team meeting to speed up the comparisons. It is also a good idea to discuss situations where half the team scores a driver a 1 and half the team scores the same driver a 9. If this occurs, perhaps not all team members have the same operational definition. If you cannot finish this exercise in the designated time frame for the team meeting, it is best to continue at your next scheduled meeting and not to assign this as homework or to have the team lead collect all of the scores. Doing this would create extra work with the opportunity for errors as you may miss out on the chance to discuss certain pairings or be forced to take an average score when it should be a consensus. The cause and effect matrix is a very versatile tool and will also be repurposed in the improve phase as the solution selection matrix.